Is your YouTube video Premiere worthy? I mean, when should you use Premieres? We're gonna talk about it and we're starting right now. What is going on? My name is Nick. Welcome to another video. If this is your first time here and you wanna learn how to grow your channel, make videos and all types of other YouTube related stuff, start now by subscribing and clicking the bell so you don't miss anything. First, shout out to Christopher Mass, Legion of Weirdos. Thank you for the shirt. Okay, premieres are out in mass, and I'm sure you experienced the same exact thing that I did with your email box. You went in to check your email, and then it was like this big waterfall of everybody using premieres. Now, I know people were just experimenting. Hey, how do I use this? It's a new feature. Is it gonna help me get views and all that stuff? And now you don't really know what to do with it. Is it good? Is it bad? Should I use it? Should I not? When? Here's what I think at this point in time, and I'll modify if necessary. One. If you have a channel to where when you upload videos, you don't have a lot of views coming in anyway, premieres are not gonna just magically get you views. So just be mindful of that. If you have a bigger channel to where when you publish a video and you know you right out of the gate have some people coming in, they're coming in and they're watching your stuff and they're like, hey, this is great, all that stuff. Having that interaction with your audience is an amazing thing in moderation. But if every single video you upload is a premiere, is it gonna be as valuable to your audience? Are they gonna rush in to see, hey, what is this? What is this event that this person has going on right now? Why do I need to come in and see this? Unless you're a humongous channel, I'll be honest. I'm not convinced. Now, if you are going to market that premiere to where it's market worthy, to where it's like, hey, you know, I've, I've this video is something special. This is something that my audience needs to get excited about. Then in that case, a premiere totally makes sense. I mean, let me do this another way. You've heard the thing about, you know, the boy that cries wolf, right? About the boy cries wolf. He's always like, oh no, wolf, wolf. And then when a wolf really comes, I think this is how the story goes. But when the wolf really comes, nobody cares because they're so used to the boy crying wolf. It's not a big deal. Oh, it's just him crying wolf again. It's not really a big deal. Now, this is a little bit different because if I remember right, because I was, you know, I was little when I heard this story, I'm pretty sure that the people ended up getting bitten because he cried wolf or something like that, or they didn't come to help him or something like that. But anyway, what I'm getting at is this. If you are going to be using premieres in every single video that you put up as a premiere, yes, it's awesome to hang out with your audience. Yes, it's awesome to get that interaction. But if you're doing it all the time with the exception of of that interaction, it's not gonna be that big of a deal anymore. But if you make it to where, hey, I'm uploading this premiere just a couple of times per month, or if you're uploading daily content, maybe once a week, to where it's like, hey, I'm gonna do this premiere, and people know, oh, this is something special. This is something that they're doing that is outside of the norm. This is something that they feel that everybody needs to watch. It may be more effective that way. Now listen, I'm not saying that this is the definitive thing. These are just my thoughts right now. These are the things that I'm thinking through. We went through this in the live stream the other night, and that's why I'm making this video right now, because there's a lot of different opinions on what is going on with this premiere thing. Okay, so now let's talk about uses here. Let's say that you are going to put out one of those videos that we're like, yeah, people definitely need to watch this. Then you go ahead and make that video premiere. You go ahead and market that video on your social media platforms. So you can try to get some hype built up around that so that when it is premiere time, it's a win for you. In that case, that's a great use. Now with this next one, this one might sound a little bit, you know, shady, maybe, I don't know. But with this one, another thing you could use it for is to say, hey, I've got this project that I'm working on that I know that people are gonna wanna watch. I'm gonna release it on Saturday. So I'm going to make a video on Wednesday or I'm just talking about what's coming on Saturday. So basically you're teasing what's happening on Saturday on Wednesday. So that way you would be using it kind of like a marketing thing, like, hey, this thing's coming. I mean, it's kind of what the premiere does anyway, but it would just be a little bit of hype where you could give a little bit more explanation to what it is that's gonna be happening in that future video. And tell people the reason that you think that it's important that they come and watch it when you do the premiere for that one. Another way that you could use it is, let's say that you're making content to where things are a little bit technical, to where it's like, hey, when I put out this video, no matter what, I'm, I guarantee I'm gonna get a lot of questions in my comments about this. So what I'm gonna do is in the premiere, I'm going to put this out and that's gonna give me that little bit of time that the video is live to actually chat with the people that are watching the video to answer any questions that they might have. And really that's a decent use in general. If you have that type of content where it's technical stuff, then in that case, that might be something that you get into the habit of doing on a regular basis. Maybe not every video, maybe, but you get into the habit of doing that on a regular basis so that you can answer those questions as they come in and people know, hey, as soon as this person releases this video, they're gonna be in the chat. Just like typically when people release videos or in the comments for X amount of time, same exact thing, except it would be the premiere in a lot less time. 
Yeah, I don't know. This whole premiere thing, um, for me personally, I think it's a cool feature, but I think that it's going to be abused like crazy. And I think that, yes, it's great to have that interaction with your community, but if you're going to have that interaction with your community, why don't you just go live? So then that way you have your videos that are going up and then maybe you have your premieres that you're going to use for special things, special events, special videos that you're going to make. And then you go live to have actual communication with the people that are watching your videos instead of limiting it to a two minute, five minute or 10 minute span, go live for 30 minutes, an hour and talk to the people that are watching your videos that way. So then that way you wouldn't even need the premieres if you don't want them. That's kind of what I'm thinking. And I know with my stuff, I still have the what it means to be creator video that's going to be coming out really soon. And when that one comes out, I'm going to premiere that one. But when I premiere that one, it's because that's a, a much anticipated video because so many people submitted to that and they want to see if they're in it or not. So of course, I'm going to premiere that one to let people know it's coming. But the interaction thing to talk with you, I mean, I do that in the comments. I do that on my live streams every Saturday at 9 a.m. Eastern. Join us for Nimmin Live. But I do that every Saturday and I cherish that time. And I also do it in the comments. And I think that if I start doing that in the premieres, then it's almost like, okay, well, I've only got five minutes. I'm used to streaming for six hours at a time and I've only got, you know, a five minute video or a 10 minute video or a three minute video to where I can have these quick chats instead of having, you know, like a nice long interaction, which like I said before, that's not like a not valuable thing. I'm just saying that, you know, for me personally, I'm actually not digging all the notifications for premieres right now. Here is how I recommend that you use the premiere tab for now. It's a new feature. See how you like it. See how your audience responds to it. Track it over the course of, let's say, five videos and see how people are responding. Two, poll your community. If you have a community tab, ask, hey, do you, do you like the Premiere feature? Do you want me to use the Premiere feature? Or would you rather I just upload the video and leave it at that? Your audience might love it. And as a matter of fact, let me know down in the comment section if I should use premieres. If you want me to use the premiere feature more often or less often, let me know how you feel about it down in the comments. I also think that while you're experimenting with this whole thing, that you should use it for highlighting specific videos that you make sure, hey, this video is more important to me. This video is something that I think the audience needs to see. Focus it more on that type of content and just kind of see the results that you get between the two. Another thing that I recommend is to market it. If you are going to use the premiere feature, like I said before, share it on all of your social media accounts. Let people know it's coming. Promote it on your social media, just like YouTube is going to be promoting it through emails, just like it's going to be there on your channel page, letting people know it's coming. Market it, promote it, let people know that it's happening. If you're premiering and you're wanting people to show up, it only makes sense, right? Now, if you're new here and you want to learn more about growing your channel, making videos and all types of other YouTube related stuff, start now by hitting the round subscribe icon so you don't miss anything. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.